Hi, welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Rico. I'm Lindsay. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, I guess it's the continuation of our Shelf of Shame for 2019. Mm -hmm. These are games that were in the collection, on the shelf, didn't get played 2019. Yep. So, this particular section is flea market, flea market buys. Yeah, acquisitions through trade, flea market, that kind of a thing. Yeah. So, this is our largest. It is. It but is the largest we'll try to move through them a little quick, yeah. quickly. Okay, the first one is Mint Delivery. Mint Delivery, yeah. Mint Delivery was uh, second in the series for the Mint Works, and they're like little mint tins and Yeah, it's Altoid like the, the size of an Altoid's tin. Yeah, and, they, and then the pieces look like little Altoid mints. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's a clever little system. I love the, the implementation. I haven't played the delivery, but I got it at a flea market for cheap, and I love the base game. Yeah, and Mint Works was still a lot of fun. So I, I, I don't expect it to be as good. I think they really hit a gem with, yeah. with Mint Works, but I, you know. Give it a shot. Yeah. It was worth a, worth a try. Worth a try. Um, the next one is That's a Question. This was one that we picked up for cheap, two Super bucks, cheap, something. Yeah. And um, still in the wrap. Yeah, new and shrink. And I know it's like a party type of game. Sometimes I, we need those. And and that was, we wanted to have a, some more options for like when her family comes to visit. Yeah. They're not huge game. They're not gamers. Not all. Um, and so we've struggled to find even the simplest of card games. Um, I think Just One has been the Yeah, the Just One's popular. really been the only one that has, I'd say, a true success. Yeah. Um, and so we're trying to just have a few more options in that. In that. And we don't even own Just One. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need to get we it. We need to get it. It's fun. Um, but yeah, this one was picked up really cheap. And I thought, you know, if, if there's any chance that we can get something else, worth, it's worth a $2 yeah. effort. So. And my mom's in town right now, so maybe we'll get it played soon. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, and then there is St. Malo. Yeah, St. Malo. This is a game that was a rare find in the sense that usually, so when there's flea markets, there's like online flea markets for when we go to a con, and that's usually when I acquire flea yeah. market stuff. Um, but then there's flea markets at the con where people just bring their random stuff. And it's usually not such great stuff. It's not stuff that I'm any, I have not any interest yeah. in. So it's either off like Yahtzee's and Monopoly's type yeah. stuff, or it's very niche like Hero Quest, Hero Scape, or Mad, like, not even Magic, but they're just like really, really niche things that I'm just not interested in. Yeah. Um, and so I usually browse just to kind of see what's there. It's just fun to look. Yeah, but rare, rare, rare do I ever find anything that I actually want. And St. Malo looks like a game that I think we'll yeah. enjoy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. And it's just picked it up cheap. Yeah, we gotta open it up. We just need to get it played. And I don't, it's not a hard learn, just yeah. we, we acquired several things over the, over the year and we just need to get it there. Mm -hmm. And a similar acquisition was we have two unlock games that we haven't played yet. Yeah. But we just were looking through a, a flea market and saw those. Yeah. And, and the unlocks are, are replayable like um, escape room style games. Yeah. You can't and, replay them because you remember them but right. you But none of the components on. get destroyed whereas like the yeah. exit series you'll destroy components right. in order yeah. and so they can't really be replayed. I do Love, we played one out of the exit series, loved, loved it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fantastic. And then we've played three of the unlocks, which were fine. They yeah, were good. they're good. And so we thought two more. We have some people here we play them with. We just kind of need to remember that we yeah. have them, and then they'll get played. Yeah, they're fun. The, the puzzles are fun. Yeah. Um, Lowlands is one that I really want to play. Yeah. That, that one was a, a buy on a virtual flea market. Someone posted it, and I immediately... It's, I find it's hard to find... I find it's hard to find. <laughs> in my experience, it's a little more challenging to find good euros on mm -hmm. these virtual flea markets. I feel like good euros tend to tend to like even if someone's not a fan of euros necessarily, they either wouldn't be purchasing it, so they wouldn't find it in their collection. But if they did purchase it and it's a good one. It's like one of those, it fits into an area of their collection maybe they don't have covered very well and they still enjoy the game so they just keep it. That's kind of what I've found is the case. Whereas I see like these other party games mm -hmm. or lighter card games or um, dungeon crawls, those things tend to get swung around on these yeah. flea markets a lot. Yeah. And so when you see that, that gem, you got you to get it. Yeah. And it's in great condition. They only played it like once or something. Yeah. And I really just want to get in there and save those sheep. And I want to, I want to drown her sheep. Um, I'm going to save his sheep too. Is it Baba's? <laughs> drown. <laughs> okay, the next one is San Juan. Um, we were kind of almost given this. Almost. Because somebody, we, this, our friend was purging his collection and he thought we would like it. We haven't, I mean, clearly we haven't played it yet. It's on our shelf of shame, but 
It's going to be interesting to see how it compares because it's it's like Puerto Rico. Yeah. I played the app version of it. I do know how it plays. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a streamlined Puerto Rico, a little bit different implementation, but the same feel and, yeah. and kind of your strategy and decisions are similar. But Rico is going to get it out and then he's going to be like, mm, let's just play Puerto Rico. That's my fear, right? Yeah. Like I, 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 it's not that I, I, it's a fine game and I, I would be happy to play it. But if we're here and we have that there and Puerto Rico right below it and they're like, and I'm starting to put it out and describe how it plays, I'm like, ah, I don't, let's just play Puerto Rico. Yeah. I, to me, it's a much better game. It's a more fulfilling game. It's not as fast and not as streamlined, so maybe there's going to be a scenario where like, ah, I'd love to play Puerto Rico, but we only we don't have, have an hour time. instead yeah. of, you know. We have a neighbor that comes over sometimes that's a little time limited, so maybe it, it could happen. Maybe. Yeah. I just, that, that's when, again, she, so we were purchasing other games, and he said, hey. I think he, you'll like this. Yeah, and, and I'd purposely not chosen it because, again, the same reason, but I was like, eh, I'll give him a few bucks, yeah. and, and so I gave him like five bucks or something, and... Yeah. and um, again, I, I like the game just fine. I just don't know that I'm going to ask. I've to never play it. played it on an app. I've never played it at all. I'm Maybe just, we just I'm need to play it so she can it. play it. Yeah, I'm just interested to play it. Okay. I want to see what a streamlined Puerto Rico is because it already seems pretty streamlined. Yeah. Okay. And I'm kind of fearful to let her play it because what if she likes it more than Puerto Rico? <laughs> and I'm like, no, but we want to play Puerto Rico, right? She's like, well, it's 10 months faster. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Um, so the next one is something that I'm probably not very interested in, is Codex. Yeah, this was from me. Rico wants me to be into one-on-one um, -on -one combat card games. I want to rephrase that. I want her to like one good one. At least one good one. I want her to enjoy one in that whole mm. series of options. And I... I enjoyed Man, uh, Magic the Gathering back in the day, but it was way too expensive. Like it, hate yeah. CGG, yeah. and she didn't like didn't the like actual gameplay. But yeah. I thought the gameplay was fantastic. Well, when you're playing with somebody who knows what the Every, cards I do, know, know, when as soon as you look at them, and I have to like read and be like, "What does this do?" Like it's it's not fun. Yes, she's right, and I understand the the, the deficiency in Magic for that reason. Later, I bought a dual deck, dual decks. Um, where I didn't know anything about the decks, hoping that, that having started mm, on even, yeah. but that didn't end up taking either. No. Um, Dice Masters kind of took. Dice Masters was good. But we're kind of over it. Yeah. And it's just kind it's, of, we're just, we played it enough that we're yeah. ready to move on. And we had our own, we had decks that we really liked. Are they called decks? We had characters that we really yeah, liked. Yeah, our, our setup. That we knew exactly how to play it, and it just kind of got like, okay, this is happening. Like, it just became too... It's stale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was fun. Yeah. Uh, but I tried to get her into... Uh, dice Masters was okay. Uh, Hero Realms. Yeah, no. um, dice Throne, which you thought was okay. Yeah. But, and, and Dice Throne isn't my favorite. Of, actually, I prefer more the Magic the Gathering style than, say, like Dice the, Throne the and Dice... Ma da di well, Dice Masters is pretty good, but like Dice Throne is very, very luck-driven. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fluffy, in my opinion. A little fluffy. If I were to describe it that way, but it's fun. I, I mean, I, we've got we have a few uh, the season, season two, two, you know, it, and it's and it's a fine game, and I would I liked it, but she didn't just didn't latch onto it the way I was hoping, and so I'm yeah. Codex is a game in that r genre, but this is particular one is only two factions of the whole set, and it's not an expandable set. Like you buy it once and you've got it, and my fear is that if she doesn't like it, and I'm thinking she won't, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of it because yeah. I don't know anybody who's going to want it. The people who want it already have the whole series and everything. Yeah, so it's, I, but I think it's interesting, and I do think it would be a good game. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it. I just fear that it won't land. Yeah, maybe you can play it with somebody else. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, the last one on in this category is from that same purchase. Um, it's Cry Havoc. We don't have a lot of like mini games. We're not mini game people. We're not dudes on a map type players, but we played this once at a con. We didn't play this version, so that's why it's on the shelf of shame. We didn't play this particular one, but we have played it before, and I don't remember much about it. I remember I was the turtle guys, and I didn't fight a lot, but that's kind of my jam, and that might be why I liked it, but Rico was more combative with the other players. Yeah, you have to be in the in the strategy of it, and yeah. what, what I like about it is, again, she says we, we don't have really any dudes mm -hmm. on a map type of games and so this fits a category mm -hmm. in our collection that can cover when someone comes in and says hey let's play this type of game we have an option right and i'd enjoyed it and i and i you remember having at least 
yeah. liking it a little bit. Yeah. Um, because I think the reason it, it landed for me, or at least as I enjoy it, is because the combat mechanism on it is not a luck-driven combat, really. I mean, there's a little bit of luck there, I suppose, because you don't know what people are playing out, but it's very much a... There's no dice in Yeah, scene. it's not like... <laughs> See how many swords I have seven swords, you have four, I win. <laughs> um, it's, you know, you're, 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 you realize where your deficiencies will be and you have to understand what you want to sacrifice now. And so there's a little bit more decisions on, on, on play and how you want your long-term strategy to go. And, I, and that kind of uh, landed well for me and, and, and made me interested in this type of game more so than I would otherwise have been. And it's kind of in, in the back of my mind, like, ah, I, would, I could like this in my collection, for, if not for the only reason that we don't have anything else like it. Yeah. And when this guy was selling it for super cheap, I was like, sure. And then it, he had the broken token insert. Yeah. Um, he had the whole shit. He shebang. went all out on his games. Yeah. I have almost every game. Yeah. And some of them he didn't. I don't even think he played this one. No. It's open, obviously, because yeah. there's a broken token insert in it, but I don't think he even played it. I don't it. think so either. So, there were a lot of games like that. Yeah. He liked the meta. He liked yeah. the collection. Yeah. Hi, Ben. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's, that uh, that, that rounds it up. That concludes our flea market buys on our shelf of shame. We'll, we'll get to some of them in, yeah. in the rotation. Now that I've, again, now that I've written it down, yes. yeah. I'll know to get to <laughs> Now that we've put it out into the world, we'll get to them. Yep. So let us know about your shelf of shame. Um, we're interested to know what games that you have purchased but haven't played. Yeah. So let us know in the comments. So thanks for watching. Yep.